Hi, I'm Sarah Moser for Choices Coach. I'm a personal trainer and I am going to show you how you can do a total body workout at home using very little equipment. So I'm going to be using a mat and then for this workout, we are going to be using a pair of three pound, five pound, eight pound and 10 pound dumbbells. We're gonna work the total body from head to toe. So we're gonna start with a quick warm up. Ideally, if you have time, please warm up with one of my cardio warm up videos. Otherwise, if you're, if you're not able to do that and you're short on time, we're gonna do just a quick version of a warm up, just easy stretches to get those joints lubricated and ready to go. So let's start with just the quad stretch and we're just kind of doing these nice and easy. You'll notice that in this workout, I did not add a soundtrack. So I did that on purpose so that you can do this workout three times a week until you're ready to level up or move on to a different workout and you can add your own music. Okay, from here, inhale, well actually step out wide, inhale up, exhale, flatten the back, bend the knees, Fold it over, slowly roll that up. Let's do that again. Inhale up, exhale, flatten the back, bend the knees, fold it over, extend the legs. From here, toe touches, open that up. Fold it here, deepen that stretch in the hamstrings, slowly roll that up. Take it down into a squat and then shoulders. Four more, three, two, one. Round out the back, roll that up. Let's warm up the shoulders, up and over. Open up the chest. Swimmer arms. Backstroke. Roll those shoulders back. Take a knee to the chest, gentle tuck. Four more. Three, two, one. Toy soldiers. Four more. Four, three, two. Back to the knee. And then this time Frankenstein. So it's kind of like you're kicking that leg across. Four more, four, three, two, one. Very good. Okay, let's start off with legs, but we are going to ease into this. So we are not starting with the weights. We're still just getting our legs warmed up. I'm gonna put that mat off to the side just so I don't trip over it. Okay, we're gonna start off with a static lunge. And if you have a little bit of trouble balancing, you know, if you're if standing on like a balance beam, you feel like, oh, that's, I'm too wobbly. You can just take that foot out, keep your hips square and dip down like that. Otherwise, if your balance is good, then it's more, we're not quite on a balance beam, but just feet hip width apart, and then long wise, we're going about this length, and then we're dipping that back knee down, squeezing the glutes, you wanna tuck those hips under, really squeezing the glutes on the way up, okay? So here, let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. Hold it here, pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch legs. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it here, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do a couple of squats, or I should say a few. We're gonna have our feet turned just slightly out. We're gonna dip kind of low, but not so low that it hurts your knees, okay? And then, as you can see here, really sticking that tailbone back, but the chest stays lifted. So we're not bending over like this, okay? So keep your chest lifted. Go however low you can without hurting your knees. Let's keep going. Hold it here, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, next we're gonna grab some weights. So grab your 10 pound weights and we're gonna start with a static lunge or also called a split squat. Down and up, one. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Same thing on this side. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Next, moving on to a squat. Gonna have you set one of those 10 pound dumbbells down, and then we're just going all the way to the floor, all the way up. Again, we're making sure that we're not leaning over, but that we're squatting, okay? Keep going. that one here, little pulses. And up. Okay, next we're gonna do a kettlebell swing with this weight. And so you wanna make sure that you have a firm grip on it. We're really swinging, like we're hiking a football, and then all the way up. Really squeeze those glutes at the top. Squeezing the glutes to press those hips forward. It's all in the hips. Four, three, two, one. Good. Now, set those weights to the side. Grab your mat. Grab those 10 pound dumbbells, and we're going to do a chest press. Lay all the way back, arms facing out, or palms facing forward. Press and tap those weights together, and then back down. Exhaling on the way up.
four more, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and turn over. Getting into a modified plank position. So those abs are tight. You wanna make sure you're not dipping those hips down too low, that you should be in a plank position. And we're going to do an alternating row. So core nice and tight, and then pull, pull. Exhaling all the way up. One more. Good. Okay. Set those weights to the side. Next, plank on the elbows. Ready, set, whew. go. Hips level, making sure that you're drawing your core in. Taking nice deep breaths. Make sure you don't hold your breath. If you need to modify, drop to your knees. And stop. Come down to the mat, arms straight back, palms facing the ceiling, prone cobras, turning those palms over on the way up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and squeezing those glutes on the way up. This one here, abs a little bit tight, pointing those toes, squeezing the glutes, pulse those hands up towards the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release that. Put those hands right underneath your chin, keeping the abs just a little bit tight to protect the lower back. Point the toes. Lift the feet up, out, together, and down, up, out, together, and down. So we're working the lower back, the glutes, and the hamstrings. And a little bit of those inner and outer thighs. Four more, three, two, one. Very good. Round up like a cat, exhale up. Inhale and arch. And let's get back up. Set that mat to the side. Grab those weights. A little bit more here on legs. Take it out into a second position plie or a sumo squat as some people like to call it. Make sure that when you come down that the angle of your knees, your hips, 
your ankles all matches. So as long as that looks good, then we're going down and up. Squeezing the glutes on the way up. Pull this one here and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take one toe up, down and up. Hold it here, pulse it low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set that heel down, pop the other heel up, all the way up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here, pulse it low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to the center, down and up. Hold this one low, pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, take those knees back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tuck the hips under, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Set those weights to the side. Next, let's grab those eight pound weights. We are back to our split squat or static lunge, and we are going to add on a hammer curl to work the biceps. So we're curling as we come down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side, and curl, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, step together, still continuing to work those biceps, supinating bicep curls. So it's just like a fan, one side and then the other. to a hammer curl with the static lunge. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Set those weights back up. Grab your five pound weights, and let's do a little bit on shoulders. This time, we're going to do a narrow squat or a parallel plie type squat where those feet or ankles are just right underneath our hips. And we're gonna squat low, curl, press up. Squat, curl, press. Squat, curl, press. I'll show you from the side. Squat, curl, press. 
squat, curl, press. Keep going. Hold it here, just the shoulder press up and together. Exhale as you lift up. Careful not to arch your back. Four more. Four. Three, two, one. Good. Take a rest for a second. Shake that off. Now having, now grabbing your three pound weights, we're going to sit in a squat position and then round the arms and do a reverse fly. So it's lifting up. Two more. Good. Woo. Let's stretch that for a second. Switch. Grab those threes again. Alternating frontal raises. Just lifting shoulder height. Four more each side. Three, two, and one. Good. Set those back up. Grab your 10 pound weights again. This time doing the deadlift. So deadlifts, the form is tricky and you don't feel a lot of burn while you're doing them you feel them two days later. And so you wanna make sure that you're keeping your legs mostly straight, but with a soft knee, and then shoulders back. And think of it as though you're really arching your back and sticking your booty out, and then pop up. Squeezing at the glutes, it's all in the hips. So the legs are mostly straight. Squeeze the glutes to come up. So these are great for working the glutes and your hamstrings. Let's just go two more. Very good. Set those weights aside. 
And next, let's grab one of the eight pound weights. We're going to do single arm overhead tricep press. So you're just sitting back about 90 degrees and then really press up. Exhale on the way up, four more, three, two, one, other side, same thing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, grab those eight pound weights and your mat. For this next set, we're going to do the skull crusher, also known as a French press. Grab those eight pound weights, lay back, arms straight up. We are just bending at the elbows, 90 degrees, out towards the side of your temples, and then press it back up. So we're not aiming at the face, just outside of the ear or the temple, but we're not going down that far. Feel free to use lighter weights. You can try this with fives or even the threes till you get comfortable with it, until you get strong enough to do eights or tens. Three more. Three, two, one. Go ahead and set those to the side. Let's get a little bit more in on glutes. Cross feet about hip width apart. Cross one leg over the other. Let's do a single leg bridge. Squeeze those glutes to come up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it here. Pulse it higher. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press that foot up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides, cross that leg over, press through the heel, squeeze the glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull it here, pulse it higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Foot up. All the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Cross one leg over the other. Bring those knees up towards the chest. Switch. Legs straight up. Let's do some crunches. Exhale on the way up. Make sure you're holding the weight of your head in your fingertips so that you're not tugging on your neck. Exhale every time you lift up. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One, hold it here. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set those feet back down. Feet close together. Take it into a bridge, lift it up, knees out, 
Back together, halfway down. Up, knees up, back together, halfway down. Keep going. Pull this one up. Pulse those knees outward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take the feet out wide. And then take it up. Knees in. Back to neutral. Halfway down. Up. In. Neutral. Halfway down. Two more. Hold it here. Squeeze those knees inward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And release it. Rock those knees up towards the chest. Give your lower back a little gentle massage. Roll side to side. Next, let's work the obliques with crossovers or bicycles, whichever you want to call it. Really twist. Keep breathing. And then take those knees over to one side. Take them over to the other side. And I recommend after this workout, either doing more glutes and abs in this video, or go ahead and move on to your final stretch in this video. Thank you for joining me.